Hey right, guys, what's going on? I have got my first bike of 2023 to review, or is it the second? Anyway, this is the Frigo DK200. It's a Super 73 style retro bike. It's got 20 inch fat wheels, and I believe a 1200 watt motor, which is probably limited out of the factory, and a massive 20 amp hour battery. It's only just turned up, I'm trying to get it built. I believe Andy Kirby's been sent the same bike to review, so I'm gonna go up tomorrow and have a ride with him, but I wanna see if I can get it built up today, battery charge, and get my first thoughts on it, if it doesn't rain. Right guys, so I've got this all built now. I'm actually really excited. It's probably the nicest looking bike I've been sent in a while. Quite a fan of the Super 73s, I've never owned one, and it is a Super 73 kind of style. I'm actually pretty impressed with the build quality so far. There's actually, silly as it sounds, like three bolts holding in the mud guard and really nice looking LED light. It's got a really decent looking LED light and that's really sturdy. It ain't, ain't going anywhere. And he's got the same bike and I'm going to go and meet up with him tomorrow and do some riding on these together. It'll be quite fun to go out, both have a go at these. So this bike is a Frigo DK200. To differentiate between mine and Andy's, I've taken the Frigo branding sticker off the battery and put a custom pearlescent dude stuff YouTube logo on the battery. I've also found out how to de-restrict this. I don't know if Andy's been too busy to de-restrict his, but it'd be great if I can prank him and actually beat him in a race and then I'm going to let him know how to de-restrict his. I know that Andy's fully capable of de-restricting his bike but he's probably just been too busy. There's a good chance he hasn't even de-restricted his yet so that'd be quite fun. I think it'd be quite good to see the difference between the de-restricted version of this and the restricted version. I'm literally just going to de-restrict it immediately right now following the instructions and just hop on it because I don't need to know what it's like restricted because who cares. Don't forget to check out obviously Andy's channel, he's doing a review video on this as well. But for now, I don't know how much charge is in the battery, I'm just going to follow the restricting videos and have a quick blast on this now before we head up to Andy's tomorrow. Just to confirm this again, this is a 20 inch fat wheel bike, 48 volt 20 amp hour battery, so that's a really good long range battery on this bike. Looks like it's got a built in brake light, yeah it has, look. Built in brake light, built in side stand, long range battery, retro style. It's actually a really cool little bike. As far as I remember, I think all you have to do to de-restrict this is hold the back brake with the bike off, hold the back brake lever in, turn it on, and keep the back lever held in for I think it's about 10, 20 seconds, something like that. If you look around on YouTube, you won't have any issue finding out the way to de-restrict this, but I'm gonna get straight on with it because it looks like it's getting dark and about a rain. Right guys, I've not even tried this yet, I'm actually really excited. So this is fully de-restricted hopefully now. That was exactly as it said on the YouTube video. Have the bike off, hold the back brake in, turn the bike on, hold the back brake in for 10 to 20 seconds and let go. And fingers crossed, I've never even ridden this bike in any form before. See what it does. Actually stopped at 16 mile an hour, I'm wondering if I've done that wrong. That was a bit disappointing. Let's try that again. So hold the back brake in, switch the bike on. He said wait to 10 seconds, and if you're too quick at counting, maybe wait to 20. So yeah, I don't know why that didn't de-restrict it. It was on level mode one when I pulled away. That's why it was a little bit on the slow side. Do you reckon that's been 10 seconds, 20 seconds? Actually way better, hit 30 mile an hour straight away down the road then, 30. Massive difference from 16 miles an hour. Guys just wanting to let you know, look at that. Front light is actually really good quality. Back light with built in brake. What more do you want, ain't it? Kick stand, long amp hour battery. Proper decent. I'm excited to get on this tomorrow, it's actually really quick. So basically this is a 13 cell, 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. Um, so, who's this dude, geezer? He looks a bit dodgy. Mate, everyone seems to be getting e-bikes these days. Was that the same bike as well? I, I don't know, it's a bit weird, isn't it? So yeah, what I was saying, it's 20 amp hours, which is quite a lot of energy um, storage in a battery like this with this e-bike. This, this guy just keeps coming back. I don't know what's going on. He's circling around. He's literally got the same bike as well. All right? Hey, what's up? Let me hook you up. Yeah, what you got? You got any batteries? Got some lipos. Yeah. Got some lithium. Graphene. We've got, got some got graphene. Bag, man. I'll hook you up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, yeah. Nice. 
All right. I'll meet you around the, uh, the, the underpass in a minute, in yeah? Minute, All right. Right, guys, with Andy now. He smoked his... Uh, Got my graphene. Lithium graphene crack pipe. Got my graphene fix. <laughs> Got exactly the same bikes as each other, so we're going to go out and pit them against each other. Right, right okay then, so... Ready? Yeah. One, three. two, three, go. Are you cutting or not? No, 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 no! no. Ah! Oh, I haven't got mine on full power! Ah, there's a car! Do you know how fast we were doing it? What did it say on there? 35. It weren't? Yeah. That can't be right. No, I fucking it felt like it. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, that felt pretty quick. It's 15, it's 15 and a half. That, that's oh, yeah. speedo's Sorry, wrong. Sorry, talking about yeah, Speedo's speed wrong. Yeah, <laughs> Not what I was thinking then. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Let's do a hill test up here. Okay. This is where my weight is going to be a disadvantage, but anyway. Three, two. Hold on. Set my launch control. Set your launch control. <laughs> Three, two, one. No, but oh, I've got a slow start. That's all right, though, because you'll you'll have this probably have the edge now. Yeah, look, he's going to go because of his weight. Uh, <laughs> Drift mania. Yeah, I wouldn't do it by that Porsche. <laughs> Trying to do a burnout with no front brake. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> Here we go. All right. What's that? We got the hill. It's it's a pretty big old hill. That you ain't gonna get up that without pedalling. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my God. <laughs> Why is the wheel the wheel still spinning? <laughs> You're not going down it. Back up. <laughs> send me your send me your replay to review. Yeah. Dropping in. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> you know there was a speed right there. <laughs> yeah, you got both wheels off. It's taking off the e brakes completely. Right, full power. Disengage the e brakes because who needs safety features? <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. Right guys, the Insta360 battery is running out now, so I'm going to wrap up the riding footage here. It's a lot of fun, genuinely do think it's a really good little bike. It did take forever to turn up in the post. I don't know if that's any bearing on what you normally get, maybe, the, can't really say. It did take quite a few weeks, if not months, to turn up, but it might have just been because they were for review bikes, I don't know. But, do recommend these bikes. They're just a good all-rounder, aren't they? Yeah, it's got a big battery on it as well. Yeah, 20 amp hour battery is just... A massive win because most stuff's only like 13 amp hour normally around that seems like a genuine 20 amp hour i mean we've been smoking around all morning and last night and it's still showing full bars on the battery um yeah fat tires so it's comfortable stand light spell i mean what bikes come with a bell nowadays <laughs> no in all seriousness really good little bike definitely recommend it have a look in the video description there's going to be a link to the uh free go website I'll put the appropriate links in the video description and we'll speak to you guys in a video soon. Thanks for Andy for uh, letting me come up and join join him a day for a bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed watching. <laughs> you brought it on yourself, mate. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll uh, see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take it easy. All the usual stuff. Later. See you later. <laughs>